TV. I'm here with Ali Houston. How are you doing? I am good, thank you. Good. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your show. It is stand-up that turns into a dark musical comedy oh. about my abusive relationship with my pet clown, who's called Shandy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. It's all original songs that I wrote with a friend of mine. Good. And it's uh, it's really great. It's on at 9.20 at the Mash House every night. Very good, cool. So what would you say, apart from the pet clown that's kind of standalone, but other than that, what would you say makes your show sort of stand out from the other acts at the Fringe? I think the way it turns from stand-up into a musical yeah. is kind of spanning a couple of genres. I think if you like stand-up, then you could totally go for it. And if, you know, who doesn't like a song? Yeah, do you actually sing it yourself? Yeah, so there's a few instruments and it's like a one-man musical. I play myself, I play my pet clown and I sing all the songs. There's a backing track and some video to cool. accompany it, but yeah, I do all the singing. Brilliant, so it's sort of like a bit of everything. A little bit of everything for, for everyone. Yeah, yeah, except the kids, I would say do not bring children. Don't bring your kids, yeah. <laughs> Cool, so is this your first time at the Fringe or have you been here a couple of times before? I've been here a couple of times before, but this is my first time doing a full run, doing a full hour. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, so uh, what got you into comedy? I really wanted just to write and I thought it'd be like the quickest feedback you can get is the reaction of a room. Yeah. And that's true. Yeah. yeah. Like the first 50 times you do it and die, you really do <laughs> learn a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What about your musical background? Have you had any sort of singing training or is it all sort of raw? No singing training. Originally I was a drummer and then oh. I'm just got into other instruments over the years and I've written songs with my friend who was in a band called Dogs Die Not Cars who were pretty big about 10 years ago cool. and then he kind of didn't really want to do that anymore and I actually met him at uni and then we've always sort of written songs together mm -hmm. and this is the first time that the songs have come out as a, a kind of finished product for the public. Brilliant. So you actually play the instruments yourself as well? Yeah, so there's a backing track, but then on stage there's multiple instruments too. Yeah. Brilliant. So why should people come and see your show? And how do you think, how do you want your audiences to feel when they come out? I want them to feel something, mm. you know? I think it is an emotional, it's meant to be an emotional ride. You're meant to feel something for for sort of my persona in it, and you're meant to feel something about the about the clown as well, and hopefully that's fairly unique. You know, it's like a, it's a stand up, and then it's a play, and it's a musical, and I want people just to be taken along on the on the ride. Brian, well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us today. Thanks for having me. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by Bulmers. <laughs>